Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on sum and difference of cubes. This is one of the common factoring problems. Uh, we have a factoring problem here, but I thought I would give a little bit of background on how to do this one. I used to have students while introducing the sum and difference cubes, I have them multiply this peculiar thing out and watching their expression once they get answered, it's almost always pressless. So let's have a uh, multiplication. Let's see what we end up with. We have a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. There's no two over there. That's important actually. We have a cubed plus a squared b plus a b squared. Next time is minus b times a squared minus b times a squared minus a times b squared and then minus b cubed. And what you end up actually is a cubed minus b cubed. So the rule of thumb is that the quick way to memorize this is the following. a cubed minus b cubed is equal to first one, follow the sign. Okay, so if it's a minus, then it's a minus. And then it's almost a, a complete square, but but not quite. There's no coefficient of 2. No, no 2. Okay, just a squared plus ab plus b squared. And closely related, a plus b here. Again, the first one to follow the sign. And you do need a minus sign, and there's only one minus sign. That's for the a cube plus b cube if you want to factor it. Okay, having all this, then this one is really piece of cake, x plus 3 over here, 4x squared plus 2x plus 1, and then we're going to have this one, ax8, x cubed is really 2x, so the whole thing is cubed. It's written up on the third cube over here. And then what we're going to do is, first term is follow the sign, 2x minus 1. Next one is 2x squared plus 2x times 1 plus 1 squared. Okay. As you can see, this is 4x squared plus 2x plus 1. And guess what? This whole thing cancels out as convenient as could it be. Okay. So here's our final answer. x plus 3 divided by x, 2x plus 1. All right. And um, let's see, anything else I want to mention that? This is a, not too difficult to memorize. Like I said, first one, follow the sign and make sure you only have one subtraction sign. Since here's adding, first one, follow the sign, and the minus sign comes into the in between terms. All right, I hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.